Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining. I'm so excited. This week the new annual catalog went live on Wednesday, so I have some new product to show you and there's just so many just fun, fun things. Over 300 new products in this catalog. So lots of excitement, lots of things to be just so excited to be working with new products. So I love it. I love uh, the embellishments are always kind of my favorite and the ribbons and of course I love the stamps and dies and I love when everything just coordinates together. So so I'm going to show you a, a fun suite today, the Forever Greenery Suite. But first I want to just talk about a couple things. Uh, I want to remind you that, oh gosh, today is May or Scari, June, gosh, June 5th. So just five days left to order your paper pumpkin if you haven't already this month in june it's a box of sunshine and the idea is once you complete the eight cards inside then you can decorate the box and fill it with some sunshine treats yellow treats um, of any sort it can be cards it can be candy treats anything you find and then you give that to somebody that you care about to bring them a little bit of sunshine so it's a fabulous idea and I hope that you'll all go to, you can go to paperpumpkin.com and when it asks you for uh, your demonstrator, put in Carol Hickman, that's me. Um, or after this video posts, I'll have a link, a direct link, so you'll know for sure that you're ordering with me. And just click that and fill it out and you'll be good to go as long as you do it by June 10th. Then you'll get this month's cute, cute kit. So be sure you do that. Um, along with the new catalog this month that started on June 3rd, Stampin' Up! has a new joining offer just until June 30th, but anybody who decides to join our wonderful Stampin' Up! family gets to pick a free bundle from the catalog. So with the new catalog, there are 34 bundles. Any of those, up from $31.50 up to $60.25, any of them that you get or you choose, you can choose for free. Um, and so what does that mean? So in order to purchase the starter kit, uh, Stampin' Up! allows you to purchase $125 of any product that you choose. You pay just $99. Shipping is free, so you even save more there. And then you just pay your tax on that $99. So for the rest of this month, you get to choose a free bundle and add that to the $125. So on my team, we have lots and lots of happy shoppers and most of us that's why we join Stampin' Up! because we want to get that discount right so our discount starts at 20 uh, 20 percent and then goes up from there so you can save some money on your favorite hobby some people do a business some people there's do one class a quarter just to kind of help um, to get some sales but other people just purchase it themselves it's there's so many different ways. And so everybody's team is full of lots of different types. Mostly people who just want a discount, who love to paper craft and think, why not? I'll just get my discount and um, tutorials that I have. Um, you guys know that every month I have a 16 project tutorial that you get for free that I will email you with purchases above $35. Those tutorials my team gets for free, things like that. So, so it's awesome. We get together once a month. Right now we're getting together on Zoom and we're gonna continue that after when some of us can still get together locally, but then we'll still be doing a Zoom as well for those, uh, those of you who are out of state or out of the area. Um, anyway, I hope you think about it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to have you. Uh, I love when my team grows and it's just, just fun. Fun to get to know you a little more, so so keep that in mind. Um, let's see, last of our housekeeping, we have last week's kits. And remember, they had that cute little sunflower treat. I have a packet here, a kit to go with a sunflower treat, to go to Michelle Pierce and Sandra Bryan. So ladies, thank you and congratulations for winning. Please send me a private message. You can find me under Carol Hickman or on my Check Stamper page, that's just fine. Uh, send me a private message so I'm sure that I have your correct address and those will go out in the mail to you. So congrats again. Okay, so I've been talking about it and you've maybe seen some pictures on my page about it. But if you've got your catalog, 
go to page 108 and that begins the Forever Green Resuite. It's so gorgeous. Those are the products we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna move the camera down and let's take a peek here and see if we can get you set up without making you seasick or anything. Let's take a peek. So do you see this gorgeous paper? I, um, I posted a picture of it this morning and those of you who have the catalog, you might have seen it as well. It's shown on the bottom of page 109 in the catalog. But isn't it gorgeous? I wanted you just to be able to see how pretty it is. So what I have, each uh, two inch by two inch square is partnered with its flip side. So remember all of our paper um, has a design on one side and when you flip it, there's a different design, so you have your option, right, to use whichever side you like. So these two go together and so on. So you, there are six different designs, as you can see here. Each one has a different uh, design on the back, but then you get two of those 12 by 12s in each pack. So, so you're going to get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 in this full pack. And it's fun because this one is is greenery obviously right forever greenery but it's fun there's just designs and then there's some prints with leaves and things like that so lots of fun things to use we're going to be using those today i'm just going to adjust this just a little bit um use this today for our cards okay so i wanted you to see all of the different uh papers in the suite okay so i'm going to take this away but I want to show you, I've been using this suite for a few weeks now, so I've made some cards. These are not what we're going to make today in our class. But I wanted to show you a couple cards that I've made with this suite. What do you think? Aren't those cute? This one flaps up like that. And I love this paper. This uses the new In Color Just Jade. And here's two more. This one opens up. Like a gate fold. Today we're going to do a Z fold. Um, and this one, oh, this ribbon. This ribbon is in the suite, and so is this gold kind of thread. Um, it's very sparkly. This um, vanilla ribbon, it's it's almost gauzy. It's so fun to work with. It's so easy to tie. And you can see today I purposely kind of shredded the ends on one a little bit. So here's two more. And then of course I used um, the dies from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And we use those today as well. But these gold glitter enamel dots, aren't they fun? Here we go. And then the last two. So this one I used both the gold thread around the ribbon. So it's really just fun and gorgeous. I just love it. Love, love, love it. It's kind of, I was really kind of surprised because you guys know that I love bright colors and I bought this suite as a demonstrator. Stampin' Up! allows us to purchase items uh, about a month before the catalog goes live so that we can play with it and things like that. So I ordered it and I was really surprised how much I loved it. So the stamp set is called Forever Fern and you can see it's just got some gorgeous images, some words that says... You can do this, hello, love and laughter, forever after, which we're using today. And this one says, to a friend that makes me smile. We're going to use that today as well. And then the dyes, of course, are lots of greenery. So there's lots of, lots of leaves, and we're using several of these today as well. And then I also was going to show you the Stitch So Sweetly dyes. These are, um, they were in the the occasions catalog that we just had our January through uh, June occasions catalog. They're really nice. Everything has stitched, but they have all these nested rectangles and then some labels as well. So just fun things and it's fun to put them together. This suite also has some um, embossing folders. This one we're using today and it's a fun size. 
one thing about this size is when our new die machines become available, this will fit to run right through it. And it's a small machine, so it's going to be really nice. Nice and handy, I think. So fun. Uh, these gold hoops we're using today, we're going to use one. They just come packaged like this. And it looks like you get 10 in a, in a pack. So we're going to use one of those because at first I got them and I thought, I'm not sure what to do about these gold hoops, but... But I figured out something that I think is kind of cute. So um, before I forget, I always forget and I don't want to do that. So I want to show you our thank you gift for today. Have you seen these sprout pencils? So the idea is they're a full pencil and after you're done using them and they get really short because you keep um, sharpening it, when it gets short, then you take it upside down and you um, plant it and it grows. So because we're doing leaves and things, I thought this would be fun today. So our thank you gift for today's or, or this weekend's orders, today through Monday, are two of the pencils. This sample shows basil and pars parsley. And so this will be coming in your packet with your cards from today with your kit. Isn't that cute? I think those are fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, are you ready to get down to business? I sure am. I'm excited. Let me show you what we're making today. We've got this card, which is a Z fold, but it's usually we do Z folds the other direction. We, we start with a long hot dog <laughs> style card. So this one's a little different than what we've done in the past, I think. And then this one says love and laughter forever after. And this is, you can see where I used that gold hoop because I thought it could be a wedding card. I used the emboss the new embossing uh, folder and some of those dies and that new fun gauze it's gauzy ribbon you could even trim it if you wanted in half and use little pieces uh lengthwise i was thinking make a smaller bow and then look at this gold can you see that gold on there i wanted to show you because one of the new products we have in our new catalog is called the forever gold laser cut specialty paper and look at this. So we have, I hope it's not glaring too much for you, but all these different laser cuts will come out. So these leaves will come out. Um, look at this fern. And different pieces that you can put a, a stamp sentiment punch right on top of and use these on your card. So many different pieces. So for this card, Right here, I punched out this uh, piece right here of the gold. And so I'll just be using a little piece on the sample card today. And when you get your kit in the mail, it may have a different piece of gold than this card, but it will just be one because there's different ones on here. There's this one, there's this one. I just think they're too pretty to not use. So we're going to use them up. And then there's also, so you get, let's see three of those sheets and then three of this sheet and look here you have different ones that you can trim apart and actually they're already cut for you look at that you don't even have to trim and you can put them right on your card front isn't that fun okay so forever gold laser cut specialty paper you got to get that on your wish list and better yet put it right on that shopping list and get it ordered such pretty stuff. Okay, let's make some cards. Fun stuff. We're gonna make this Z Fold one first. And I'm using thick Whisper White. We sell a uh, Whisper White cardstock, and then we also sell thick Whisper White. And the thick is much nicer for a card base. Let me show you the thin Whisper White, which is our normal Whisper White. I usually use for sentiments, and I always use it on the inside of our card. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous paper, stamps really well, but if it's gonna be the card base, I want it to be the thick. So, so that's what we're gonna do. So let's get this one ready to go. So I've already scored it. So I scored it just like a regular card at four and a quarter, and then I scored it again at two and an eighth, and that's so it will fold back. There we go. So now it's ready to open. 
So for this particular card, I cut two identical pieces of designer paper, uh, again from this uh, Forever Fern or Forever Greenery paper. And so I'm just gonna put one right here. And we have, I hope you noticed, in our new catalog, we have new adhesive, and I'm so excited. Well, Mr. UPS is bringing me some, but not until today. So next week I will have our new adhesive. This is our snail, which we've had for years. And Stampin' Up! has replaced it with some new adhesive that is supposed to hold even better than the snail. So in my dry climate in Arizona, it will be nice. Sometimes I feel like I need to use a little extra. So I'm excited to use the new adhesive is called Seal and Seal Plus. Seal Plus is much stronger, so it will work. Even, supposedly, I haven't tried it yet, um, but like on bags and boxes and things like that if you want. And both of them have a refill. And the nice thing is both of the new adhesives, they use the same case. So if you just want to get one with a case, then you can start buying the refills. I think I'll have a case for each, so then I'll know, um, because I'll probably use both. But I'm anxious to get it in my hand and get started on that. So I've got one here to open. I want to put my other piece right here because it's going to show for the card. When the card closes, then it's still going to show this piece. Okay. So you can see that I use two of the Stitch So Sweetly dies, uh, the rectangular nested pieces. So let's get them out of this prepped envelope. And I think that's it, yes, okay. So on the smallest one, you can see that's where I stamped. And I stamped this cute saying that says, to a friend that makes me smile. And just a reminder, you guys, Every Friday after I I'm finished here and I get this video uploaded to YouTube, I will post on my blog at chickstamper.com your free tutorial. So you'll be able to see everything, um, the dimensions and exactly the, the item numbers and the paper and everything that I use. So be sure you check that out. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm going to stamp my envelope with one of these Forever Fern stamps. Isn't that beautiful? Look how it shows the different dimensions. I love it. And then I think I'll stamp right in here and I'll do that again to have a little something on the inside. There we go. Isn't that cute? So it'll be hidden when the card is closed, but then this is the area you'll be able to write a note. So that'll, that'll look really cute. Okay. So before I added this uh, smaller piece to the larger one, I wrapped some of the gold thread around. Now I will tell you this gold thread is, um, it's so fun and it's gorgeous, but it tends to fray at the ends. So you want to kind of keep track of it and you could always put a little glue dot around it to stop it when you went to put it away until you were going to use it again. And so you could even separate it. Remember when we separated the twine last week or the week before and we just took out pieces and tied a bow with that? You can do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to leave a little, a little tail here and then wrap it around. Okay, and I think once I tie it, I'll be able to kind of adjust the little scallops where it lies. And once I get the bow tied, then we'll be able to add it to our bottom piece and we'll just use some Stampin' Dimensionals to do that. So this is where I thought, there we go. I want it to be a little abstract, but I don't want it to look messy for Pete's sakes. So 
Okay, so let's just tie tie a little bow. There we go. And adjust that a little bit. Okay, and then you can see that I added some uh, butterflies from the Butterfly Duet Punch. So I have a vellum one and a small one in the Pretty Peacock, which is the ink color that I used. Put some dimensionals right here because I like the way that it it stands out from each other. Even though they're both white, you can still see them, and I like that. Okay. You know me, I like to use a lot of dimensionals. Nothing's gonna sag. There we go. So I'm just gonna center it right here on this larger nested piece. And then the only thing we have to remember is to only put adhesive on the side that's going to go down on this flap so that when we open it there's no adhesive on this back side so again i'll just try to center it on the card so when it's closed it'll look centered but then it opens up with the flap isn't that cute okay let's get a little Blue dot right here. So if any of you are in the Phoenix area like me, uh, you'll need to check when I post that information onto this uh, video later because I finalized my retreat. I like to have a summer retreat every summer. This year we're moving to a hotel uh, right by the Scottsdale Quarter and Carolyn Commons. And um, I'm really excited. We only have about 10 spots left, so it's going to be fun. I'm going to use some mini uh, dimensionals to put on this butterfly so that he'll pop up a little bit. This card has a lot of dimensionals. It'll be a little thick, but not everywhere, just in a couple spots. But I think that makes it cute. There we go. And then these gold glitter enamel dots. They are so fun. And this one I just put uh, two of the little baby dots on. So let's see if we can pick those up. Sometimes the little ones are tough. Let's try our little pick-me-up tool. There we go. Oh yeah, that's easier. Okay. There we go. Isn't that cute? And we have our matching envelope. And let me just adjust this ribbon a little bit. Even a little bit of a drop of liquid glue right there on the knot would help hold it. But it's so cute, I wanna use it because I just love it. It's just beautiful. I'm almost, almost through my first bolt of it already. There you go. And again, it says, to a friend that makes me smile. That's all of you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so card number one. Done. Let's see. This one, I'm going to call it our wedding card. It doesn't have to be, but it's just so, so cute. And I think the ring is what makes me think of weddings with it. So again, I use that new embossing folder. And so let me get the pieces and show you what I did there. I just embossed this top part. So the embossing folder itself is made to just do a portion of your card or uh, maybe it's just like a background piece or something. So it worked out perfect. So I just lined it up and ran it through and instead of putting it, trying to put it all the way, I left space 
so that I knew I wanted to stamp here. So I wanted some space that was not embossed. So I just ran it through my die machine that way. Super cute. Okay, so for this one, let me change ink colors. We're gonna use garden green ink. And it says, love and laughter forever after. Alrighty, so I wanted to use some of that pretty designer paper, so I just cut a one inch strip and thought I could just layer it on there and that'll look pretty cute. And the back side is pretty, don't you think? Sometimes that's, <laughs> that's a pretty great day if your only decisions are trying to figure out what side of the paper to use, right? <laughs> There we go, so I covered up that seam so you don't have to worry about seeing that. And then our card base is Garden Green. This layer is Pear Pizzazz. And I left a little bit of a border, a little bit uh, wider than normal, so be sure you check that uh, blog post today and you can print off or download the free the free PDF tutorial for you, okay? All right, now we get to use these fun, fun things over here that I've got. Let's put them out here. So here's our ring. It's very light, you guys, so I used glue dots because it just doesn't take much adhesive to hold it down. And then what I did is this is one of the dies, and I liked it, but I don't want all of it. So I'm just gonna Trim it right off and I'll use this for something else. There's no wrong or right. I wanted to just put this piece here, that part I knew, and that's kind of where I started. So let's do that first. And if I know that where I put my glue dots under part of it is gonna hide, but then the other parts I can kind of fold it up like a little taco. once I get it on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach it to the ring and really you get to do this however you like. And there's no wrong or right. Oh, let's pick one of our gold pieces. I forgot about that part, that's the fun part. Let's see what we're gonna use. So last time I used this piece, because I see that it's gone. So this time, let's use this one. See, it just pops out real easy. Okay, so let's see what we like. What do we think is gonna look good? This can kind of take the longest time, I guess. <laughs> I'll just put a little glue dot here. And I know I kind of want it to lay that this way. And I also know right here is going to get covered up by the bow. So if I get a little messy or you can see glue dots, I don't really care. It's okay because it's all going to be hidden. So now let's see. We want to make sure we get some gold in there. Oh, I like that. What do you think? I think that'll be pretty. And then what I did is I just put some glue dots on the back where it would be hidden, but it would also hold the ring. Let's see. And I think I'll put one down here, but I can always kind of roll it up so it doesn't show but then I get a little bit more stability there. Let's try that and see how we like it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cute. 
What do you think? So fun. Okay, and then this, again, this is like gauze. It's really fun. It's so soft. You know how they have those, what are they called? Boyfriend cotton t-shirts at Target and different stores like that. That's what it reminds me of because it's so soft and it's very pliable. It'll, it's not anything you have to really mold. It just is soft, just like gauze. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about wrapping it around your boo-boo. So what I'm going to do is just put it on with a glue dot, maybe a second one, and just put it right there. But then I can kind of play with it a little bit, and I can trim it back up if need be. But I kind of want it a little smaller than I had it, so there we go. So let me trim these edges again. And if you like, you can ravel them. Ravel, unravel, I guess, would make more sense. Um, the edges, like I did on this one. See how I just unraveled them a little bit? So I just kind of pulled at it. I think I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more, maybe organic's the right word, I'm not sure. Just because it's leaves and nature, I just kind of wanted it to look a little bit more natural. Not that you find bows in nature, but if you did, Oh, okay. Oh, look, we get to put on those pretty gold little gems. So I think I'm going to put another glue dot under here, and I'm just going to roll it up, kind of like a little burrito. And I'm just going to hide it under there, and nobody will ever know it's there, but that will hold... There we go. See how that will hold that down? Okay. Let's put on our gold glitter gems. And I did three. If you're making this at home, you could do however many you want. So cute. Love and laughter forever after be a very cute wedding card. Let's stamp our inside. I have one of the leaf stamps and I'm gonna use that uh, garden green ink. And I'm just gonna stamp it a couple times. Because in nature, our leaves, they're kind of different colors, right? Different shades of green, I should say. There we go. I like to get that envelope too, so. We'll put our inside piece in. Remember our first card, uh, we used white cardstock for the base, so that's why we didn't have an inside piece to the first card. Okay. What do you think, you guys? I think they're so cute. I hope you like them. Let me check out any questions that you guys have and make sure that I'm not missing anything from you. Okay. I agree. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Let's see. So I showed you the thank you gift. Again, I just think they're so cute. They um, have parsley, mint, basil, sage, thyme, and clover. So it's just fun. Something fun for your kids or your grandkids. Um, play with the pencils, use them up, and then you can plant them. So I hope you like that and enjoy it this week. I'm going to turn the camera back up so just hang on hey everyone sorry for the wobbles wibble wobbles thanks so much for watching i really appreciate you 
I will be posting this, um, the information, so the, the uh, video will post, and then I will add, I will edit to add some things in the header. So it will add paper pumpkin link and a link to my blog at chickstamper.com, link to YouTube, which is youtube.com uh, slash chickstamper, pinterest.com slash chickstamper. It's pretty easy. As, once you got the chickstamper down, then you can find me. Uh, remember, all orders uh, through Monday night will receive today's card kits, so you can make them up at home. If you don't have the stamps, you can use something that you have um, already. That's okay, but you'll get the uh, the directions and the video, the link for the tutorial and the video as well, which are on my blog. So, um, and that cute thank you gift. So, all those will go out on Tuesday. And again, congratulations to Michelle Pierce and Sandra Bryan. So. Give me those addresses, ladies. I'd love to send you your free kits from last week. I think that's it, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Have a great weekend. Enjoy, I guess, the first full weekend of June. Gosh, June is coming. It's here. So enjoy. Take care. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love you lots. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Have a great day.